Hey, it's Happy here. I want to take some time to let you know how to use your How to Write a Happy Song guide. Um, we're going to use what's called the singularity method, okay? And that means taking a whole bunch of random pieces and putting them together all as one. All right, so the first thing, step one, step one, is to fill in your singularity chart. You can start with any one of these dots, but basically just put one word that encompasses all that you're feeling, follow the rules as stated uh, in these first few pages here, and use that to fill in the whole chart. Every single one of these colors should have a different word. Then once you get that together, the whole point of using the chart is so that you can see what's opposite, so you can see what's like, it's a Venn diagram. So if you know how a Venn diagram works, fill it in. If you don't, I'll fill you in. All right, next step is to translate it to your perspective pyramid. That will be this one over here, which leads to this one over here, the song structure. But basically, refill in all of your colors correspondingly, and now you have the order to a great song. The reason why this works is because this is kind of physics. This is the order in which people, their perspective takes in light. People are most attractive to green and the things that make up green. Um, and from there on, it just spreads. So if you start with your hook being the green, you will have the most attractive part of your song being chanted by your audience. Um, and that's kind of how the, the magic of it works. So step three is to freestyle using your new sequence of prompts. Um, freestyling includes a whole bunch of literary elements. Um, so that's why I included literary elements in here. Freestyle, just chunk by chunk by chunk. The thing about it is it's very hard to get started because you, it gets overwhelming to try to freestyle a whole song or write a whole song. But if you're only freestyling just a 16 or half of that, it shouldn't be too hard if you have the prompts that are already in your brain because you put them on the chart. If they weren't on your brain, they wouldn't have made it to the chart. Um, now, step four is to choose an instrumental that fits the mood. You might wanna do this first before you freestyle, um, but it can go either way. If you choose the instrumental um, and genre, once you you don't want to pick the feel too early because you might pick a song that doesn't match the words, and you want to match the mood to the listener to the hook. You know, step five is to collect ten songs or six to ten songs in your song journal, your notebook. I prefer composition books because they don't tear out and they'll last for years. Um, step six, feed the titles of your songs through the chart. That way, once again, you can start with the most attractive song and work your way down. Um, step seven, determine the new order of your album or demo. So that's step seven. Step eight, perform your album with a live band. That's where Trigger Happy Production comes in. You might not have a live band at your disposal, but we got one for you. And that way you can still have the feel of the instrumental that you use, but you're not using the same song. You just have an idea now of the melody you want to use, of the rhythm that you want to use for your own voice, and then completely get rid of the old track that belongs to somebody else and make your new track uh, based off of your own style, your own song. All you did was use their song as a stencil, but it will be nowhere uh, in your new original work. And last but not least, subscribe to the rest of the Tomorrow University series to find out more. All right, that should be step one. All right, y'all have a good day.